Hey everybody, it's Mark from TentandTable.com. Um, as I start off every time, I hope everybody is having an outstanding summer. Today I wanted to just discuss um, our inflatables, some things to look at, okay, when inflatables come in. Um, you know, I want everybody to remember that the inflatables are a handmade product. So when people are opening up and looking at their inflatable for the first time, and I think this might even apply more to the brand new rental company out there who's just getting into the business, because I understand uh, with the rental units, okay, I may get a brand new unit in, and this happened to me even before we were selling units. Um, I would go over the unit with a fine tooth comb and I'd find things that didn't look just right or, you know, and it would sometimes alarm me. Well, we got to remember, all these inflatables are made by hand. They're sewn by hand. Um, our panels are being cut either on a automated table or quite often we might stack cut. You know, if I needed to cut you know, this one panel, I might be laying a bunch of pieces of vinyl down and stack cutting 50 at a time. Um, the other way we do it is we use automated cutting tables. And when that's done, you might get a brand new game in. And, and I walked around this game and looked for them and I couldn't find any. But if you ever find a game that's got a little letter, okay, a series of dots that looks like a number, those are marks that are done at the time of cutting and they're done with a water soluble ink. They will wash off, they will wipe off very easily. I know they might appear to be very annoying on a brand new game. And you know, when a game is done and it's completed and the manufacturing QC process is being done, we go through a game, we inf it's inflated on a table, the inside of the game is going to have threads all over the place, little pieces of vinyl, okay? So somebody's going through the game, clipping off any exposed threads, cleaning it, everything gets wiped down. We may occasionally miss a spot, but don't worry about that. That's going to come off in the first or second use or even with a mild cleaner. Um, stitching on a game, okay? We'll always try to make the stitching as straight as possible, okay? But again, since we're taking and sewing a few hundred pound piece of vinyl, you know, something might not be perfectly straight, okay? It's not gonna affect the use of the game in any way. Remember, seams like this are gonna be sewn behind, all right? And there's gonna be two to four rows of stitching. So if something, if you look at an area and you see a thread, okay, don't worry about it because that unit is stitched behind with an additional two to three rows of stitching. Um, you know, netting, okay, occasionally we'll have a little area of netting. Certain things are just, don't be alarmed. I know it's a brand new unit, but you're always going to have some certain um, inconsistencies. Um, vinyl, when we're folding vinyl, you might find that there's some small lines or wrinkle marks. Those will go away. Um, you know, basically I was just doing this to show that the products are handmade, they're made by hand. We do go through a very thorough inspection process and occasionally something may get missed and most of the time they are not going to in any way um, void the warranty, affect the warranty, um, and you're going to find especially, you know, as your business develops and time goes on, all right, that that brand new game is going to end up having scuffs, dirt, a nick, a little thing here or there, okay? And it's not going to remain new forever. And as much as you're going to be concerned about it, 
coming out of the box. If there's a problem with a game, let the customer service or your sales rep know. We'll take a good close look at it and I'll be able to establish if it is going to be something that is going to affect the warranty or the life of the game. You know, I was, I was reading the other night on one of the Facebook posts where somebody had a brand new game come in. It wasn't one of our games, but it had, you know, through shipping, you know, probably a half inch tear in the black area of the game, the bottom of the game, all right? Any of the experienced rental operators know that by August or September, there's gonna be areas of that game they've got to go through and patch. This customer was upset, wanted to know if he should send the unit back for a new one. And overwhelmingly, most of the experienced rental operators said, contact the manufacturer, make them aware of it. Um, it shouldn't have come in that way, but don't jeopardize taking that game out of your inventory when anything this weekend should be out up to three days consecutively, okay? So that little repair that might take you a moment to do, okay, the customers aren't gonna notice it. Um, your customers aren't gonna go through and look at the game in that detail. And, you know, make sure you just have some patch-all tape, you know, a seam roller, some HH66 glue, have a stitch-all,